Hey friends, today we are continuing our 12 days till Christmas countdown and we are just two days away. Well, today's Christmas Eve. Holy moly, we're just tomorrow's Christmas. Holy moly, did I lose a day? Wait, holy moly. But anywho's, we're gonna hang out, go Christmas shopping and then we have to get food for Christmas dinner tomorrow. And then I figured since we're cooking dinner tomorrow on Christmas day, we'd have a nice little family dinner tonight. So we're gonna eat some food, drive around and have a beautiful Christmas Eve kind of night. Anywho's, let's, let's go, go do this. this. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> We are at Sam's Club right now, but we are gonna make our way down to Shifts. And I'm so excited to take you guys down to Shifts. This place, uh, this grocery store has a huge impact on my life. It's so funny. But what did we come to what did we come to Sam's Club for, Bon? We got ham. We got ham. Ham from Sam's Club. I was trying to find a nice little family restaurant that we can go to tonight for our Christmas Eve dinner, but everything's kind of closed. And it's kind of funny because I was like, oh, uh, it's closed because it's Christmas Eve. But no, like most of these places are just closed. Like they, they open, Sundays. yeah, they're closed yeah. on Sundays. They're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. They close yeah. at 5 p.m. Small town restaurant kind of stuff. So it's very difficult. And uh, the only place my mom has never been to is Ruth Chris Steakhouse. So I think we're gonna go to the casino tonight. We made it down the road to Schiff's uh, Market and uh, this place is the very first place I've ever seen an animatronic and uh, it terrified me. It scared me so bad that my mom literally had to force me to come in here when I was a kid because I was so afraid to see the animatronic. I don't think he is here anymore, but he was like Mr. Schiff himself, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah. He was like a bald butcher and he was in the, the meat section and he just like stood very up. And I remember I used to be so afraid because he would move and I thought he was trying to get me. And he was following me. Yeah. You remember too, right? He made me cry every I know. time we came here. So it's like, and that's so funny because now I am like... I'm the biggest fan of animatronics. So something That's I was so terrified funny. as growing up, now I love, I yeah. love animatronics. This is it right here, good old shifts. I haven't been here in a while. I think I'm heading straight back to the meet. I wanna see if he's up there. He used to be up there. I don't know if he's still yeah, there. By the deli and the meat. No, he's not there. He's gone. Man, I gotta find him. If I can find him, I'd buy him. All right, we have an update, and not only do we have an update, we have a name and a photo of the mannequin. Now, it wasn't even an animatronic. I don't even think it was an animatronic. I was that terrified and scared of this mannequin that I thought it was moving. Like, <laughs> isn't that crazy? But his name was Fritz, and he is not there. Uh, he was a butcher. He was a butcher mannequin and it terrified me and I mentioned it in there and everyone said the same thing they're all like he scared me so we did find a photo be prepared this is like nightmare fuel and realize that this was once in a meat section of a small town grocery store there he is good old Fritz they literally used to dress him up. He's exactly where I thought he was, standing in that corner. Wow, that is incredible. I would love, someone said, uh, they said in there that he's still around, but holy moly, childhood emotional damage. Emotional damage. <laughs> Yo, I absolutely love these uh, uh, videos, This uh, the 12 days of Christmas countdown vlogmas, only because I get to give you guys a look of a little bit more of like, the past for me and my history and I guess that's what you would call it mm -hmm. right upbringing upbringing yeah. my mom sent me and Bonnie to the store and uh, she gave us a list of things that we had to get and I'm pretty sure uh, string cheese was not on it or this plush throw <laughs> 
something that I think is hysterical. Uh, the other day, we uh, went to a family dinner. It was a very fancy dinner, and we were taking photos afterwards. And my mom, she was like, oh, there's not a lot of Christmas decorations. She wanted to get, like, the elf in between us. And she didn't think it was Christmassy enough. And they have this new AI thing on Instagram where you can basically select the background, and it uh, basically turns it into, like, a whole nother world. So I'm going to show her some of the pictures and be like, oh, look, these photos came out great and then some of them even add like you could be like add a human into it add a family member and they look like weird humanoids like it's so creepy but i can't wait to show her and be like i don't remember taking that photo so you go in and you select a photo like this and then you hit next and you put like christmas and then hit christmas and it creates like a background it's it's really cool Ah, uh, like that, see? And then I'm gonna be like, oh, mom, look at this one. These photos came out great. And she's gonna be like, I don't remember this. Wait, never mind. I found a way better one. I got this picture of me, my mom, and Bonnie. And uh, it's like you got that, like, uh, the catering hall in the background. But then I said, make it Christmas. And look at that. That is so awesome. I'm gonna see, like, mom, this picture came out great. So I'm gonna post this one to Instagram. I think that's so awesome. You guys gotta go check it out. Ma, did you see the pictures? Didn't they come out great? Well, honey. Did you see the pictures? Didn't they come out great? I, I, I didn't even notice that they had the fireplace there. Neither did I. I know, it's literally, and then the Christmas tree was really nice. So. How did I not notice that fireplace? Oh, like the group of us? Yeah. Like this one. Who's that? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Who was that? Who? That guy on the end. Who are they? That's the cousin. Whose cousin? <laughs> our cousins. That wasn't our cousin. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. I know that we're going out to dinner, but I can't, like, I, I gotta get some more of the Manuka. I gotta get maybe another Linzer cookie. Yeah, this is the way. Ooh, should I have the strudel? No, I'm going Linzer cookie. Two Linzer cookies. Tis the season. The holiday season. Does anybody else put their pastries in the microwave? My mom also puts, uh, she also puts her, uh, bread in there, too. Yo, no joke. I love these cookies. Mm. You ever see that episode of The Office? <laughs> Where Kevin, he, uh, they're trying to stay quiet and then Kevin breaks the silence by eating a candy bar and going, mm. That's how I feel about these cookies. <laughs> All right, we're loading up the car and we're gonna head out to Mohegan Sun. That's where Ruth Chris's steakhouse is. My mom wanted to go to Olive Garden, but I was just like, we gotta do something better than all. I mean, I love the OG. Don't get me wrong. I'll do endless breadstick soup and salad all day, but it's Christmas Eve. So it's a Christmas Eve casino trip. <laughs> Must be 21 to enter, Ma. You know, I would have never thought in a million years, the very first time I come home for the holidays, I'd be spending Christmas Eve at the casino. My mom doesn't even like to gamble. I have to tell you this awesome story. The first time I ever took my mom to a casino, I told her, I was like trying to convince her. I was like, oh, just come. You can play the nickel slots, you know, the nickel machines. And she was like, oh, okay, that sounds good. I pick her up and she uh, hands me her bag and I'm like, Jeez, mom, why is this bag so heavy? Well, she didn't know. Like, she thought it was like back in the day where you'd have to actually put nickels in. So she went to the bank and actually cashed out a bunch of nickels. I remember this. It was so funny. And I was like, oh. Ma, you want to play some slots later on? Yeah. Some slots? Yeah. The nickel slots? But here it is. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. And it's a little festive this time of the year. Look at that. Toy soldiers over there, Frosty. My mom's excited. This place is very festive. Look at it in here. I like it. Very, very nice. You see it? Ooh, ornaments. 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 
for starters, I ended up getting the corn chowder. My mom got corn chowder too. She loves some chowder. Big soup lady. I'm a big soup guy. Yeah. That corn chowder was amazing. And now I kind of want to pull a little National Lampoon's Vegas vacation. If you ever watch that movie, the Griswolds are all sitting down uh, having breakfast and Clark gets up and just like walks away and goes and plays the slot machine and wastes lots of money and then just comes back and starts eating breakfast like nothing happened. So I kind of want to do that, but hopefully win. I actually got some free slot play because I bought like a dining package. So I got $20, look at that, 20 bucks. I'm gonna make it big, here we go, max bet. Oh, what am I betting? Oh, what did I win, I won three, oh, I won three bucks. Oh, dang, oh, I didn't get anything there. Oh, I think I lost all my money. I didn't walk away, I lost it all. It's all gone, it's all gone, it's all gone. The food hasn't come yet, huh? No. Sorry, I had to go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> Mom, the steaks are here. 500 degree plate now. Please be very, very careful. I'm gonna go transfer that into a different bowl just because that one is very, very hot. Thank you. Bonnie and my mom both went ribeye and I decided to go in with the bone-in filet. Ooh, 500 degree plate. Ariel ended up getting mac and cheese for her kids meal. Kids meal. This is this is the kids meal. It's bigger than my steak. Like that is insane. This is the au gratin potatoes. My mom wanted that. This is the sweet potato casserole, which looks amazing. I'm actually gonna fork into this real quick. Look at that. Oh, and then we got Brussels sprouts, and it's looking good. <laughs> I am loving the food. Mom, what do you think? Delicious. Delicious. You too, bun? Yeah. Everything's been amazing. The filet, I devoured right down to the bone. Oh, wow. That's the bread pudding? It looks like a biscuit. <laughs> wow. What'd you get, Bonnie? You oh my lordy. That cheesecake looks phenomenal. Mom got the apple tart. Oh no, that's the creme brulee. Yeah. And what did she get, Hagen dazs Yeah, just vanilla ice cream. Oh. Here. So lightly, and then took it out of her mouth and took a bite. Did you take a picture? Uh huh? Did you take a picture? Of the food, yeah. I'm taking a picture right now. Yeah. <laughs> Ariel's liking that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to dump these in. Ooh. Bonnie, what was your favorite thing about Ruth's Chris? I don't know. That steak was amazing. My mom said it was her best yeah. steak she's ever had. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But that, that sweet potato casserole. I like that, too. So. Chef's kiss. And Chef's that kiss. Oh. I can't stop thinking what Ariel's doing over there. What's she doing? Entertaining herself. Ariel, what are you doing? Hi. Hi. <laughs> are we on the racetrack? We are. We are on the racetrack, Mom. This is the horse track. <laughs> Look. <laughs> we don't belong here. <laughs> are you going to get down those steps? You're gonna... Yo, Mom, I would pay you money to get down there in that chair and just start doing a lap. <laughs> Come on! Now we're gonna go drive around and see Christmas lights. You excited, Ma? I'm excited. I like how you're wearing my hat, too. Eric, you, <laughs> <laughs> right, you wanna see Christmas lights? All right, well, now that we got to see the lights at Nayog, I think we're going to head back up to the Peckville house, uh, my friend Jeff's house that was on the great 
uh, Christmas light fight and uh, we're gonna be able to walk around because it's not raining anymore I've been wanting to show you guys and actually go back and check it out might as well Christmas Eve look at how amazing this is I'm so happy we actually get to get out and walk around because like all the other Christmas light like uh, houses you actually just like drive by in your car you ready Ariel for more information about the Peckville Christmas House, you can actually uh, find their information on Facebook. Like us on Facebook. Little QR code there, but holy moly. Right? This is insane. Right? It's crazy. Look at all the penguins. Wow. Wow. Yeah, look at all those penguins. Wow. There's a back section where you can drive through. My mom didn't want to get out because she didn't bring her coat, so maybe we'll drive mom through, Bonnie. Yeah, she'd love to see all this. This is so unbelievable. Let me know in the comments if you've seen a better... Like, like this is, I've never seen the, this amount of Christmas decorations before. I think we're going to have to start making our way out, though. This is the end here, though. This is, like, so, like, beyond anything I've ever said, like, seen before when it comes to Christmas decorations. Still kind of shocked. I'm so pretty. Oh, oh, oh this is a special view. Kelly, we don't usually allow a lot of people up here, huh? <laughs> oh, this is fancy. You can ask Jeff any questions. Uh, no oh, Jeff, yes. How many, uh, how many, uh, what is it called? Blow? Blow moles. Blow moles. <laughs> how many blow moles are have, down there? We have over 3,000 blow moles. Oh, wow. You know, over a quarter million of the twinkle lights. Wow. <laughs> Yo, that, it's, it's beautiful from up here, honestly. I was geeking out when I was walking around on the pathway down there, but seeing it up here is insane. And with that, I think we are done here tonight. It's Christmas Eve. Tomorrow is Christmas Day, and it's the end of our 12 days till Christmas countdown. I can't even believe it. I'm pretty sure I got messed up somewhere along the way. Honestly, it was a lot of fun. And maybe I'll do it again next year. Or maybe eventually I'll start doing more like kind of daily vlog style uh, videos. Uh, but uh, anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. Merry Christmas. Gracie says hello to Merry Christmas to you. And to all, a good night. Before we go to bed, we gotta put out cookies for Santa. Gotta put out cookies for Santa. Yep, we sure do. Cookies for Santa.